Good morning, Tampa Bay. Meteorologist Katie Simmons here, providing information on weather daily. It is currently 11 a.m., and it is quite humid outside, with a temperature of 76 degrees and 74 dew point. The Storm Prediction Center has placed our area under an extremely rare high risk today. The last time we had such a risk was on January 22, 2017. We didn't have much tornadoes that day, but the environment was extremely volatile. I think today's environment is much more volatile than that day. Anyways, back on track, supercells are forecast to enter the area by 4 p.m., with some indications of long track, intense supercells. The potential for strong to violent EF2 to EF5 tornadoes, very large hail, and scattered damaging winds are the main hazards. I need everyone across the risk area to remain extremely weather aware. To know if threatening weather is approaching, turn The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 22, effective until midnight Eastern Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Florida, Hardy, Hillsboro, Manatee, Pasco, Pinellas, and Polk, and the following marine locations, Tampa Bay waters, coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Tarpon Springs to Suwannee River, Florida out 20 nautical miles. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Remember, a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. This is a rare particularly dangerous situation tornado watch, meaning more dangerous weather is imminent in the watch area, including strong, long-track tornadoes. Persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements for possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. So we just got interrupted with a tornado watch. For almost all of Central Florida. I didn't expect to watch this early, since the event was expected to begin at 3. Very interesting. Well... Let me pull up the watch graphics. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Several strong tornadoes likely, isolated hail up to tennis ball size likely, and scattered gusts up to 80 miles per hour likely as well. So there you have it. I wonder why they issued a watch so prematurely. I guess the environment is already very good. We are going to monitor radar for storm development if one does pop up. And we actually do have a storm over in Orlando that might already be showing rotation. If the event really does begin at 11 a.m., that is crazy and quite unpredictable. I hope we weren't wrong with this setup and that's actually not what's happening. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for Central Orange County in East Central Florida, Southern Seminole County in East Central Florida, until 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Windermere, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado Source, trained weather spotters reported a wall cloud near Walt Disney. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include downtown Orlando, Windermere, Winter Park, Edgewood, Belle Isle, Winter Springs, and Union Park. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. 
avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Eastern Standard Time for East Central Florida. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has... This is NOAA Weather Radio KHP 32 Tampa Bay, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.550 MHz. The tower for KHP 32 is located in Riverview in Hillsborough County and serves West Central Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, Polk, Hardy, and Manatee counties. Due to a high and severe weather outbreak forecasted today, KHP 32 will not operate regular programming until the threat of severe weather passes. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 to 60 nautical miles, coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 nautical miles, until 5.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 4.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 11 nautical miles southwest of Indian Rocks Beach moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats, damage vessels, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing life jackets. Locations impacted include Terracia Bay, D5 Reef, Manatee Near Shore Reef, Madeira Beach Reef, Longbow Key, Cockroach Bay, MD-1 Reef, M-7 Reef, Anna Maria Island, M-8 Reef, Southwest Channel, D-6 Reef, M-1 Reef, D-1 Reef, D-4 Reef and St. Pete Beach. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a special marine warning for Coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 nautical miles. quickly form and capsize boats, damage vessels, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing life jackets. Locations impacted include Terracia Bay, D5 Reef, Manatee Near Shore Reef. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a special marine warning for Tampa Bay waters, coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 nautical miles until 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 5.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm producing a tornado was located near Anna Maria, moving northeast at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats, damage vessels, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing life jackets. Locations impacted include Old Tampa Bay, St. Petersburg, Howard Franklin Bridge, Piney Point, 
and Courtney Kemble Causeway. To repeat, a water spout is ongoing. Boaters should seek shelter immediately. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Hillsborough County in west central Florida, northwestern Manatee County in west central Florida, southern Planillas County in west central Florida, until 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 5.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed water spout that was close to moving onshore was located 10 miles south of Tierra Verde, or near Anna Maria Island, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, public showed a picture of a decent-sized water spout near Holmes Beach. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations in the path of this tornado include Roskin, St. Petersburg, Sun City, Piney Point, St. Pete Beach, and Gulfport. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Eastern Standard Time for West Central Florida. Okay. Back to live coverage. We are starting to see initiation to our south. We have a tornado warning in effect for portions of southwestern Hillsborough County and northern Manatee and southern Pinellas. This is due to a confirmed water spout seen by some of the public posted on social media. Kay, can you pop up a picture for us? Here's one. It seems like in comparison to the last photo we received, it's gotten bigger. Wow. That almost looks like a wedge. We can only hope it weakens slightly before moving onshore, although, those in the cities of Ruskin, Apollo Beach, and Tampa need to be in their shelter, in an interior room on the lowest floor. And in a sturdy structure, not in a mobile home or vehicle. We now have a tornado warning including the city of Zephyrils and the northern Lakeland area. Oh, okay. Those in Zephyrils, northeastern Hillsborough, and northwestern Polk counties should be sheltered in an interior room in a sturdy structure. I'm gonna pull up base velocity to spot the area of rotation. Oh wow! A decent couplet off to the northeast of Temple Terrace. Looks like this event is starting to get active. There are still forecasted to be several rounds of supercells that develop offshore and some on land as well. Those in the high and moderate risks need to buckle up, as a potentially dangerous day is inbound. Looks like it is getting quite windy outside our office. Rotation has seemed to tighten very significantly and is about to landfall. This is not good. Those in the Ruskin, Sun City, and Apollo Beach area need to be in tornado shelter right now. Once this thing touches down, or moves onshore, our new station will dash underground. Yeah, this tornado definitely went rain wrapped quick. Can't see it at all. Folks, 
For the first time ever, Channel 8 might have to seek shelter. I'm telling you, Mike, I lived in Florida for over 20 years, and we have had several high tornado risks that just hasn't produced tornadoes. I mean, look, when was the last damn time we had a tornado warning for Palm Bay? Almost never happened. Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Brevard County, East Central Osceola County, until 6.20 p.m. At 5.49 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Deer Park, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact, Flying Debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornado should remain over mainly rural areas, but may impact Palm Bay and Melbourne eventually. Be ready to prepare for this tornadic storm. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, 
move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Eastern Standard Time for East Central Florida. Haha, <laughs> 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 that was good timing. This won't produce a tornado though. How about you stop with the ignorance? Tornadoes can happen anywhere at any time. Bro, listen. I just explained we haven't had tornadoes near Palm Bay in a long time. What makes you think it's gonna happen now? Because today is a different day and you can't predict the development of them. It is important to pay attention to a serious day like this where the National Weather Service is using extreme wording. Okay, whatever you say. I'm pretty sure others agree with me. A tornado warning remains in effect until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Northern Polk County. At 6.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a large and extremely dangerous tornado was located 5 miles north of Polk City, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Orange County, northwestern Osceola County, southeastern Lake County, until 6.45 p.m. At 6.04 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Eva, or 10 miles north of Polk City, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, a trained weather spotter confirmed significant damage done to the town in addition to radar showing lofted debris. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Four Corners, Horizon West, Bay Lake, Windermere, Walt Disney Resort, and Lake Louise State Park. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This tornado is rain-wrapped and may hide the view of the tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now as this tornado is fast approaching and dangerous. You are listening to NOAA Weather Radio, the voice of the National Weather Service, station KHP 39 in Jacksonville, Florida serving Northeast Florida and adjacent coastal waters 24 hours a day, on a frequency of 162.55 MHz. Broadcasts originate from the National Weather Service office in Jacksonville. The Storm Prediction Center has placed the entire viewing area under a slight risk for severe weather today. Isolated damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes will be possible. The main threat should be from 5 p.m. to over... The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch Number 23, effective until 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This watch includes the following counties, in Florida, Baker, Clay, Duval, Nassau, and St. John's, and the following counties, in Georgia, Camden, and Charlton, 
and the following marine locations, coastal waters from Fernandina Beach to St. Augustine, Florida out 20 nautical miles, coastal waters from Altamaha Sound to Fernandina Beach out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from St. Augustine to Flagler Beach, Florida out 20 nautical miles. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements for possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio or television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Okay, I am going to pause the music because there are reports of a large violent tornado heading towards Palm Bay. Puffed. Yeah, right. The storm literally just f***ing formed. How is there going to be a violent tornado? Listen here, you dumbass. If you got your ass on social media, you would see photos of it. It is coming straight for the city. You believe everything you see on social media, huh? If there was a large violent tornado, why hasn't the National Weather Service issued anything? If there was a large, violent tornado, why is it looking completely perfect outside? Stop trying to fear-monger Mike. I'm not fear-mongering, holy f I don't get what's the point of denying the fact that there's a tornado. Just because it hasn't happened before doesn't mean it can't. Oh, tornado sirens. For what? They are sounding the sirens for no reason. Fast-moving, intense tornado about to impact the Melbourne and Palm Bay metropolitan area. Tornado emergency for the cities of Melbourne and Palm Bay. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for Southern Brevard County until 6.45 p.m. At 6.15 p.m., a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed 11 miles southwest of West Melbourne, moving northeast at a rapid speed of 55 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for the cities of Melbourne and Palm Bay and areas within the Polygon. This is a potentially mass casualty situation. Seek interior shelter immediately. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, trained weather spotters spotted the development of a large wedge tornado over St. John's Heritage Parkway, intensifying in strength and growing in size. This tornado as of 6.14 p.m. is reported to be over half a mile wide. This tornado could cause serious damage to either cities Melbourne and Palm Bay. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of businesses, neighborhoods, and vehicles are likely. Some roads will be blocked by tornado debris. Locations impacted include Melbourne, Palm Bay, West Melbourne, Melbourne Beach, June Park, Florida Institute of Technology, Melbourne Orlando International Airport, and Atlantic, Malabar, and O'Galley. This includes the following highways, Interstate 95 between exits 173 and 183. If on the edge of these exits, do not drive further into the area. If in between these exits, Find an exit and locate a substantial structure to seek shelter inside. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover immediately. Move to a basement or interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This tornado is rain-wrapped and may hide the view of the tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now as this tornado is fast approaching and dangerous. Okay, 
Everybody in Palm Bay needs to seek shelter now. The National Weather Service is calling this a tornado emergency for the city. Take shelter in an interior room or basement if you have one in a well-built structure. There's absolutely no way there's an actual tornado. You know what? I'm getting in my car and finding this shit. I'll be back. Have fun dying, you d**ch. Sorry. I'm gonna leave on my NOAA weather radio for you guys to hear while I take shelter. Good luck, you guys. All right. Time to see what these dumb meteorologists are talking about. Right in front of it, I should be able to see if there's a tornado or not. Or maybe not with all this goddamn rain. Likely just a strong storm somebody hyped up. What do you want, Mike? John, are you okay? Yes, I am perfectly fine. I'm right in the storm and I see absolutely nothing. Get out of there. Why do you want me to get out? Because there's a huge rain wrap tornado heading towards you. Pfft. Yeah, right. Keep making up your bullshit lies. F*** you. Well, my car is actually getting a bit shaky. Maybe I should move some. Well, god dang it. Oh shit, it's here! No, 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 no! Guys, John will be okay. I'm sure he didn't f**k around and find out. Oh god. Violent tornado on the direct path for the Lakeland and Winter Haven metropolitan statistical area. Tornado emergency for Central Polk County, including Lakeland, Winter Haven, Davenport, and Haines City. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Central Polk County and Central Florida until 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large, violent, and destructive tornado was observed over Kaysville, or 13 miles southeast of Plant City, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. This tornado has caused intense to violent damage across a long track path in central Hillsborough County. This tornado is expected to maintain intensity given no storm interference, strong wind shear, and abundant instability. This is a mass casualty situation. Seek underground shelter now, above ground shelter may not be the most survivable. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado, along with trained storm spotters reporting a wedge tornado over one mile. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction of entire neighborhoods, residential areas, businesses, districts, medium-sized buildings, and vehicles are likely. Some roads will be blocked by tornado debris. Locations impacted include Lakeland, Winston, Medulla, Bardo, Winter Haven, Davenport, Hain City, Polk City, Auburndale, Eagle Lake, Lake Alfred, Crystal Lake, Eaton Park, Kathleen, Gibsonia, Lauman, and Dundee. This includes the following highways, Interstate 4 between mile markers 31 and 58, Highway 92, Highway 37, Highway 27, Highway 540, 544, and 546. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover immediately. 
an underground tornado shelter is the best way to survive this tornado. If unable to locate one, the most common and alternative way for a better chance at survival is moving to a basement or interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This tornado is rain-wrapped and may hide the view of the tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Violent tornado on the direct path for the Lakeland and Winter Haven Metropolitan Statistical Area. Tornado emergency for Central Park. Okay, okay. Let's get through what's going on for those of you watching. We have over 20,000 people watching right now. We have two tornado emergencies ongoing in two very populated areas. There is a large and violent tornado reported to be on the ground heading directly for the city of Lakeland. Those in Lakeland need to be in an underground shelter now. Above ground shelter may not protect you from this tornado. This tornado appears to be very, very intense to completely slab homes, businesses, throw trees, mangle cars, and do ground scouring. This appears to be a mass casualty situation ongoing. In Melbourne, we just had a violent tornado smack straight through the city. Uh, I might have to pause right quick. We have tornado sirens ongoing. Dave, a tornado emergency just got issued for us. Good God. All of downtown Orlando is now under a tornado emergency. Uh, uh, needless to say, folks, this is, uh... Something we obviously never have to deal with. Trying to keep my composure before I go insane. Okay, those of you in downtown Orlando. I'm pretty sure most of you watching are in downtown Orlando. You need to be in underground shelter. The National Weather Service is calling this... Massive, long-track tornado about to impact downtown Orlando and central Seminole County. Tornado emergency for the Orlando metropolitan area. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for central Orange County, Seminole County, until 7.15 p.m. At 6.21 p.m., a confirmed large, violent, and destructive tornado was observed over winning Nermere, or 14 miles southwest of Orlando, moving northeast at a quick speed of 60 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for the Orlando metropolitan area. This is a mass casualty situation. Seek underground shelter immediately. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, radar confirmed rotational velocity measures to be over 103 knots, in addition to debris being lifted over 20,000 feet in the air as the tornado entered southwestern Orange County. Based on all radar scans, this tornado has been rapidly strengthening throughout the past few minutes and may continue to strengthen as the tornado moves into the Orlando area. Impact, complete destruction is nearly certain in some residential areas, and might even impact the downtown area. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Palm trees will be snapped and tossed throughout the air. Tornadic debris will block roadways and any passage zones. Mass devastation is likely making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Locations impacted include downtown Orlando, Winter Park, Winter Springs, the east side of Sanford, Lake Mary, Orla Vista, Edgewood, Union Park, Universal Studios, Altamonte Springs, Geneva, Oviedo, Chaliwoda, Azalea Park, Conway, Belle Isle, Taft, and Longwood. This includes the following highways, Interstate 4 between exits 94 and 75. If near these exits, get off immediately and locate a substantial building. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and very deadly tornado is on the ground. Seek underground shelter now. Above ground shelters may be decimated within the path of the tornado. This tornado is rain wrapped and may hide the view of the tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now as this tornado is fast approaching and dangerous.
God fucking We're damn back it! On air. This is insane. Oh my God, Luke, I'm gonna have a panic attack. Dave, chill. Please, just stay in good spirits. No! Everything I have is gonna get destroyed. My wife, my kids, my house. We have an underground shelter. We're about to head there. Please, call your family. Tell them they can come over. Okay, let me calm down. Fucking shit. Can't believe this fucking shit is happening. Dave, it's gonna be alright. No, it's not! We have to remain professional. It's hard to remain professional when there's three fucking violent tornadoes on the ground at once, in a state with the highest population in the damn country that almost never has to worry about tornadoes. We have to go all out so people will listen. You will not survive an above-ground shelter. You will die. Dave, That's Dave, Dave, stop! Go downstairs, Dave! Okay. Dave is being taken care of. Sorry, everyone. But he is right. I cannot stress enough how bad this situation is. Violent tornado about to impact downtown Orlando. The following message has been transmitted at the request of the Orlando Police Department. National Weather Service meteorologists have indicated a violent tornado moving into parts of the Orlando area with them issuing a tornado emergency. Seek shelter immediately. This tornado will impact the city within the next few minutes. Above ground shelter may not protect yourself from the tornado. Seek underground shelter now. Look at this photo based out of Windermere. Folks, I cannot stress enough how bad this situation is. Sirens are sounding again. Okay, we need to get to shelter. This tornado is beginning to move downtown. Everyone downstairs now. This is NOAA Weather Radio WWG 59, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.40 MHz. The tower for WWG 59 is located near Venice in Sarasota County and serves West Central and Southwest Florida. Programming originates from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Sarasota, Manatee, Hardy, DeSoto, and Charlotte counties. A special marine warning remains in effect until 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood, Florida out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Englewood to Tarpon Springs, Florida out 20 nautical miles. At 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, two severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts and when gusts 34 knots or greater were located 10 nautical miles west of Minnesota Key, moving northeast at 50... The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Central Sarasota County in West Central Florida, Northwestern Charlotte County in Southwestern Florida, until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 15 miles southwest of Venice, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Another severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 10 miles west of Minnesota Key, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Hazard Tornadoes Source Radar Indicated Rotation Impact Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. 
mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Venice, South Venice, Minnesota Key, Englewood, Charlotte Beach, Murdoch, Northport, Port Charlotte, Venice Gardens, and Plantation. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado watch remains in effect until midnight Eastern Standard Time for southwestern Florida. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for... A tornado watch and tornado warning are in effect near your area. Currently in our area, it is 76 degrees with stormy conditions. Here is the local Doppler radar. Tonight, severe thunderstorms likely. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for Northern Lake County until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.32 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Leesburg, moving northeast at a rapid speed of 55 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado Source, trained weather spotters reported a wall cloud. Impact Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Eustace, Tavares, Umatilla, Paisley, and Pine Lakes. Take cover now. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado or when the tornado approaches. Tornadoes today have been unusually strong to violent across the state. Do not play around with the storm. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Jacksonville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Alachua County, Southern Baker County, Bradford County, Central Columbia County, Gilchrist County, Union County, Southeastern Suwannee County, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.40 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Wellborn to Trenton, moving east at 70 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Source, trained weather spotters reported a gust of 75 miles per hour in Hatchbend. Impact, expects considerable damage to roofs, siding, trees, vehicles, and mobile homes. Locations impacted include Gainesville, Lake City, Lake Butler, Keystone Heights, Trenton, Bell, Alachua, Dewberry, High Springs, Brooker, Clark, Archer, Fort White, Columbia, Lulu, Olusti, and Williford. Remain alert for a possible tornado. 
Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If one is spotted, act quickly and move to a place of sturdy structure. Stay away from windows. Oh my goodness, I have never in my life seen so much destruction before. There are several slabs and buildings crumpled in Orlando. If I had to describe the destruction done in Lakeland, I couldn't really tell you. I could imagine. It seems like the strongest hit area in the outbreak so far. And the damage sure does goddamn prove it, I can tell you that much. Let me describe it, it kind of reminds me of Mayfield. You know how the tornado almost leveled the entire town, or even Greensburg. This is horrific shit. So glad emergency responders are doing their jobs. James, as the outbreak couldn't get even worse or even more insane, the National Weather Service just issued a tornado emergency for the city of a town that was devastated from the 1998 tornado outbreak. Oh my God. And it looks like they're going to be devastated again. Take it to the EAS wording. tornado with a history of causing unprecedented damage to the city of Lakeland, moving into parts of Kissimmee and southeastern Orlando metropolitan area. Tornado emergency for northern Osceola and eastern Orange counties. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for northern Osceola County, southeastern Orange County, until 7.45 p.m. At 6.49 p.m., a confirmed large, violent, an extremely dangerous tornado was located over Davenport, or about to impact the city of Davenport, moving rapidly northeast at a speed of 60 miles per hour. This tornado has caused extreme damage to Lakeland, Albanyale, and communities in northern Pope County, maintaining strength and advancing into the southern Orlando metro area. Radar measurements of 200 miles per hour and greater based on rotational velocity and critically high lifting debris suggest this violent tornado is at a high strength. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Seek underground shelter now. Above ground shelter will not protect you from this tornado. Houses will be completely swept away. Businesses will crumple. Trees will block most roadways and tossed around like toys. Same with cars. Locations impacted include East Orlando, University of Central Florida, Orlando International Airport, Orlando Executive Airport, Kissimmee, Celebration, Airport, Belle Isle, Biffle, Wedgefield, Christmas, Englewood, Union Park, Azalea Park, Taft, Hunters Creek, and Conway. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and very deadly tornado is on the ground. Seek underground shelter now. Above ground shelters may be decimated within the path of the tornado. This tornado is rain wrapped and may hide the view of the tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now as this tornado is fast approaching and dangerous. A tornado warning remains in effect until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for northwestern Charlotte and central Sarasota counties. At 6.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was about to hit the city of Venice, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Another tornado-producing storm was located over Minnesota Key, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, for the Venice tornado, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. 
considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. For the Minnesota Key Tornado, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include, in the path of the Venice Tornado, Venice, South Venice, Venice Gardens, and Plantation. In the path of the Minnesota Key Tornado, Minnesota Key, Englewood, Charlotte Beach, Murdoch, Northport, and Port Charlotte. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Seek shelter underground or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Heavy rainfall may hide both tornadoes. Do not wait to see or hear the tornadoes. Tornado emergency for Eastern Seminole County. A tornado warning remains in effect until 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over Oviedo, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for Eastern Seminole County. Strong tornado nearing the coastline, about to impact areas south of New Smyrna Beach and North Turnbull. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for Northern Brevard County, Southern Volusia County, until 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 6.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located just south of Geneva, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. This tornado has a history of producing strong damaging tornadoes and extreme damage in Orlando. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Lake Harney Woods, Mims, Oak Hill, Maytown, Ariel, Edgewater, and New Smyrna Beach. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Seek shelter underground or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIH-26, the voice of the National Weather Service. This broadcast comes to you from the National Weather Service office in Melbourne, Florida, on a frequency of 162.4 MHz. A required weekly test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System is conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected, this test will be postponed until the following day. Well, looks like my house will be destroyed in 10 minutes. All my work is going to be gone. Everything I put into this damn house. I seriously can't believe it. We almost never have strong tornadoes here. Something feels ever so slightly strange. Anyways, I'm bailing. I'm not staying put in this weak house. GoPro, you do the work in getting footage for me. Goodbye, house.
The National Weather Service in Jacksonville has issued a tornado warning for Northern Bradford County, Central Clay County, Duval County, Northern St. Johns County, Southern Charlton County, Southern Nassau County, Southeastern Baker County, Northeastern Union County, until 8.15 p.m. At 7.15 p.m., a bookend vortex producing tornadoes was located along a line extending from McClenny to Stark, moving east at 70 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornadoes. Source, radar confirmed tornadoes. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Jacksonville, Jacksonville International Airport, Orange Park, Jacksonville Beach, American Beach, Atlantic Beach, Jacksonville University, Fruit Cove, Green Cove Springs, Baldwin, Bryceville, and Neptune Beach. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Several tornadoes can develop within bookend vortexes. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Jacksonville has issued a tornado warning for... This is the National Weather Service in Melbourne. How may I help you? Hello, this is your Skywarn Storm Spotter. Uh, we have a large tornado on the ground just to the west of Pine Lakes. Immediately touched down as a wedge, doing complete destruction to trees. Looks like it's also on a path to D-Land. Thanks for the information, sir. You're welcome. Good fucking lord. Our city was hit, Orlando was hit, Lakeland was hit, and more cities are in the path. Can this day just fucking stop? Sophia, please stay calm. Okay, what storm had a violent tornado reported? It was the one just to the west of Pine Lakes. Let me get radar confirmation. Okay. All right, let's get the warning out. Doritos? He's eating Doritos on my ultrasound. Let's see what I have. A large and dangerous tornado is about to impact the city of DeLand and eventually Daytona Beach. This is a tornado emergency for Daytona Beach and DeLand. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for Northern Volusia County in East Central Florida, effective until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and deadly tornado was located over Pine Lakes moving towards the city of DeLand and Daytona Beach at 70 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for the city of DeLand and Daytona Beach Metro. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Take cover immediately. Hazards include a deadly tornado and the source's spotter confirmed a large violent tornado to the west of Pine Lakes. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include DeLand, North DeLand, DeLeon Springs, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach, Holly Hill, South Daytona, and Port Orange. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. Please seek underground shelter. Above-ground shelter will not protect you from this tornado.
It has just reached half of the hour and we are still under a PDS tornado watch. Looking for the potential for a few isolated tornadoes as we head into the overnight hours. Just to our southwest, we do have a storm that is about to hit Cape Coral and beaches along the coast and it is warned for potential water spouts, so boaters please look out. To our north, we have a couple of tornadoes ongoing. There was a strong tornado that hit Venice and another to the south. And the tornado outbreak in central Florida has just been devastating, Cherry. Yes, indeed. We are going to take a look at some damage pictures from the tornado outbreak to the north. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Now that is some serious damage. Unfortunately, we do have numerous casualties reported in several areas. The total is estimated to be around 150, although that is not confirmed yet. I wouldn't even be surprised. I am just at a loss of words. I seriously pray for all of those in Central Florida devastated by this rare and historic tornado outbreak. Truly isn't anything to forget. And we have a tornado warning for Cape Coral. Yep, we were indeed correct. The potential for tornadoes has not decreased at all. And wow, that is a very strong meso. I really hope this doesn't produce into anything strong. But given the environment that we do have, it's not out of the question. So make sure to take cover. Here are the tornado safety tips. Move to a basement or interior room. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for West Central Lee County, until 8 p.m. At 7.31 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 5 miles southwest of Coptiva, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado Source, Radar Indicated Strong Rotation Impact, Flying Debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Cape Coral, Iona, Fort Myers Beach, Cypress Lake, Sanibel, Sanibel Island, and St. James City. The storm has the potential to produce tornadoes, including strong tornadoes. Take cover immediately. If located on beaches, locate a substantial building or shelter to seek protection and move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building avoid windows if you are outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris a tornado watch remains in effect until midnight eastern standard time for southwestern florida The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Central DeSoto County until 8.15 p.m. At 7.31 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Seidel, or 10 miles northeast of Northport, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. In addition to this tornado causing significant damage to Northport. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Arcadia, Southeast Arcadia, Nokati, and Brownville. This tornado is tracked to impact downtown Arcadia. Take cover immediately if you are in downtown Arcadia. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado, as it is rain-wrapped, fast-moving and dangerous. Seek shelter in an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. 
If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This is the voice of the National Weather Service, NOAA Weather Radio Station KHP 34 broadcasting on a frequency of 162.55 MHz, serving southeast Florida, and originating from the National Weather Service Forecast Office, located on the main campus of Florida International University. The current time is 7.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Miami and Fort Lauderdale listening area. For the rest of today, a few showers and thunderstorms. Some storms may be severe. Low of 72. Chance of rain. The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for Biscayne Bay until 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed water spout was located near Coral Gables, moving north at 50 knots. Hazard, damaging water spout. Source, public observed tornadic water spout developing east of Coral Gables. Impact, water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats damage vessels, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing life jackets. Locations impacted include Coral Gables, Miami, Hobie Island Beach Park, Rickenbacker Causeway, and Peacock Park. To repeat, a water spout is ongoing. Boaters should seek shelter immediately. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. The National Weather Service in Miami has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Miami-Dade County in southeastern Florida until 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located over Hobie Island Park, moving north at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include downtown Miami, Miami Beach, Fisher Key, Dodge Island, and North Bay Village. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris.
Violent tornado on a path to downtown Arcadia. Tornado emergency for central DeSoto County. A tornado warning remains in effect until 8.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for central DeSoto County. At 7.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed 5 miles north of Hall, moving rapidly northeast at a speed of 60 miles per hour. Tornado emergency for central DeSoto County. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction to entire neighborhoods is likely, and complete devastation possible. Trees will be snapped. Debris will block most roadways. Locations impacted include Arcadia, Southeast Arcadia, Nocatee, and Brownville. This tornado is tracked to impact downtown Arcadia. Take cover immediately if you are in downtown Arcadia. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado, as it is rain-wrapped, fast-moving and dangerous. Seek shelter in an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This is an emergency situation. All right, so it looks like we're going in emergency mode. The National Weather Service in Tampa has just issued a tornado emergency for Arcadia with an approaching strong and dangerous tornado. Those in Arcadia, you need to be in shelter now. Don't wait on this. These tornadoes are moving at like 55 miles per hour. It's going to be at your front door by the time you don't even know it. We have had very serious and damaging tornadoes today that have almost been completely rain shielded, meaning you're not going to see it at all. This is a very life-threatening situation. Those in downtown Arcadia, you need to be in shelter, most preferably underground. Above ground shelters have not been protectable in tornadoes today. Uh, uh, James, I think we might have a strong tornado just to the south of Cape Coral. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, yep, I would not be surprised. That is a very strong signature. Looks like we're going to need a new tornado warning. But regardless, those in Fort Myers need to be in shelter now. This is a very dangerous tornadic storm and potentially. We have a CC drop now. Yep, we have indications of debris being lofted in the air. A tornado is definitely on the ground. Can we pull up the Cape Coral sky cam? Sure, hold on. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Okay, so you're just going to have to believe us with this one, folks. You're not going to be able to... The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Central Lee County until 8.30 p.m. At 7.50 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over McGregor or near Cypress Lake, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. A strong velocity couplet associated with a deep debris ball was observed on radar advancing into the Fort Myers metropolitan area. This is a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Fort Myers, Lehigh Acres, Buckingham, Olga, Charleston Park, Fort Myers Villas, Page Park, and Gateway. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado, as it is rain-wrapped, fast-moving and dangerous. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see or confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Okay, we're going to head to show.
Ha, huh, it would be quite crazy if a tornado hit our area today. Yeah, don't think that, please. So far, we've been extremely lucky. I hope a tornado hits our area and destroys our radio tower. That would be quite interesting. Indeed, multiple people die from it. Can we stop joking about tornadoes? People have actually died today and y'all aren't being ignorant. Oh, can't take a joke, whiny bitch. How about you f off? Okay, I'm just saying tornadoes are dangerous. If we actually got hit, we would all probably die. Okay, and we aren't getting a tornado today. All of the storms are away. Tornado emergency for Sebring. The National Weather Service in Ruskin has issued a tornado warning for Central Highlands County, Northeastern DeSoto County, Southeastern Hardy County, until 8.45 p.m. At 8.03 p.m., a confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over Arcadia, moving northeast at 60 miles per hour. This tornado has caused violent destruction in the city of Arcadia. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover immediately. Above ground shelter will not protect you from this tornado. Hazard, deadly tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, this is a life-threatening situation. You could be killed, if not underground, or in a tornado shelter. Complete destruction to entire neighborhoods is likely, and complete devastation possible. Trees will be snapped. Debris will block most roadways. Complete destruction to entire neighborhoods is likely making the area unrecognizable to survivors. Locations impacted include Sebring, DeSoto City, Lorita, Lake Placid, Placid Lakes, and Plains. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover immediately. An underground tornado shelter is the best way to survive this tornado. If unable to locate one, the most common and alternative way for a better chance at survival is moving to a basement or interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This tornado is rain-wrapped and may hide the view of the tornado. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Any more saying? Okay, I'm heading to an underground shelter then. Good luck you guys. They are saying above ground shelter won't protect you. What kind of bullshit is that? Exactly. It's so dumb. I don't care what they're saying. I'll just sit here in my chair, my house is very well constructed anyways. I'm gonna go take cover though. God, y'all are some bitches. Well, it's fun to track weather unless you're in the goddamn path of it. Can this thing just fuck off? I don't want to die. I have a passion for weather and you're going to do this shit to me? God, man, this thing better deviate the fuck away from me or die. Right now. I put in damn too much work for this trailer. And where the fuck am I supposed to hide? This is just God telling me I should die. So I'm going to stick to his word. I should probably tell my friends I'm about to die. Hey guys, it's Xavier. This is going to be my last Instagram post. 
There is a strong tornado heading for my house directly and I have absolutely nowhere to hide. I will never forget the times we laughed, played, and did basically everything together. Some of the greatest people I have ever met in my life. But it's time to say goodbye, so goodbye. Keep having a successful life. Well, if I do survive, then I'll just get a lot of money, potentially. Okay, that thing is right over me now. What the... No, 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 what, 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 what the fuck? A severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for South Central Okeechobee County. At 8.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Okeechobee, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Expect hail damage to windows. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for South Central Okeechobee County, Western St. Lucie County, until 9.30 p.m. At 8.50 p.m., a tornado-producing storm was located over Okeechobee, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Okeechobee and Taylor Creek. The storm has the potential to produce strong damaging tornadoes. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for South Central Okeechobee. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without sh The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida has issued a tornado warning for Central St. Lucie County until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 9.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over St. Lucie West, moving east at 60 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, radar confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include White City, Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, River Park, Indian River Estates, and Fort Pierce South. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous, and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To this NOAA weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune into an alternative weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information.
The following message has been transmitted at the request of the Lakeland Police Department. All citizens entering Northern Polk County via Interstate 4 are advised to turn around or exit the freeway. Debris has blocked the freeway for miles leading to immense traffic jams. In addition, most of the city has been destroyed. Driving into this area could put your life in danger. And this The following message has been transmitted at the request of the Orange County Emergency Management. After violent tornadoes swept through the county today, several homes and businesses were left completely swept and widespread power outages in several neighborhoods. Areas in downtown Orlando still remain completely impassable. Please avoid travel throughout the county and remain sheltered indoors. The state of Florida will never be the same after this. This is just not what I anticipated at all. I'm just at a loss of words. This snow and weather radio station is temporarily off the this air. This snow and weather radio station is temporarily off the air. This snow and weather radio station is temporarily off the air. It came and went. It sounded like a complete train that lasted for like 20 seconds. Everything was gone in under 30 seconds. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to take a time to address the tornado outbreak that moved across the southeastern United States. Yesterday, violent tornadoes swept through the major cities of central Florida. Multiple casualties have occurred and widespread devastation across the Sunshine State. We have confirmed that this is a mass casualty situation. Jill and I are giving our absolute prayers to those who lost their loved ones and lost their homes to those who were impacted. I will be in Tampa tomorrow and visit as many communities as I can that were devastated. The federal government will do as much as we can to help those affected. This is NOAA Weather Radio KHP 32 Tampa Bay, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.550 MHz. The tower for KHB 32 is located in Riverview in Hillsborough County and serves West Central Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Hillsborough, Pinellas, Pasco, Polk, Hardy, and Manatee counties. Storm surveys and damage assessment begins today. National Weather Service meteorologists today will begin the task of assessing the damage from a tragically historic day of tornadoes across Central Florida yesterday. Numerous supercell thunderstorms producing long live strong to violent tornadoes across two-thirds of central Florida with widespread and catastrophic damage in several locations. At this time, storm surveys are being planned for the following counties. Team 1 will focus on assessing central Hillsborough County, including the Ruskin, Riverview, and Fishhawk area, and Polk County, including cities along Interstate 4, including the cities of Lakeland, Auburndale, Davenport, Polk City, and Lauman. Team 2 will focus on assessing Sarasota, Charlotte and Lee counties, including the cities of Venice, Iona, Fort Myers, Lehigh Acres, and central Charlotte counties. Team 3 will focus on assessing DeSoto and Highlands counties, including the cities of Arcadia and central Highlands County. This survey could potentially take weeks for a preliminary survey. If you have any sightings of damage, contact the National Weather Service at 813-645-2323. damage survey from the tornado outbreak on February 7, 2024 has been finalized. 
Numerous supercell thunderstorms produced long lives strong to violent tornadoes across two-thirds of central Florida with widespread and catastrophic damage in several locations. At the beginning of the day, the Storm Prediction Center issued a high risk for severe weather across parts of central Florida. At 11 a.m., a particularly dangerous situation tornado watch was issued across all of central Florida. A couple of hours later, storms began to develop and organize given moderate instability and high low-level shear. The first tornado of the day occurred at around 5 p.m. At 5.03 p.m., a water spout was observed off of Tampa Bay waters and prompted a tornado warning for Western Hillsborough County. Around 10 to 15 minutes later, this tornado moved onshore with wind speeds up to 150 miles per hour. Although it was fast moving, the tornado still did considerable damage to trees, houses, apartment buildings, shopping centers, and industrial buildings to the north of Ruskin. Afterwards, the tornado impacted the community of Fish Hawk directly with wind speeds up to 160 miles per hour, causing destruction to external walls of homes and businesses. The National Weather Service then proceeded to issue the first tornado emergency in the county warning area due to the intense tornado approaching the city of Lakeland. In Lakeland, contextuals were supportive of the rating of an EF5 tornado, with wind speeds up to 205 miles per hour. Well-built homes were completely slabbed, with severe ground scouring, severe tree debarking, and completely collapsed buildings. The tornado peaked at a width of 2.05 miles. Outside of Lakeland, the tornado continued to move just to the east of Interstate 4, doing complete debarking of trees and complete destruction of poorly constructed homes in rural areas. The tornado moved to the north of Lauman, with wind speeds up to 180 miles per hour, doing complete damage to well-built structures and trees. This tornado then crossed into Melbourne's county warning area doing more EF4 damage. The second tornado of the day occurred at around 5.55 p.m. to the north of Polk City in northern Polk County, doing considerable damage to the rural town of Eva. Homes were collapsed and trees were snapped and toppled all over roadways. The tornado peaked at a half a mile wide. The third tornado of the day occurred at around 6.50 p.m. in downtown Venice. A strong tornado moved onshore, with wind speeds up to 150 miles per hour. This tornado did considerable damage to roofs and exterior walls. Most houses on Venice Beach and in downtown Venice were destroyed, along with businesses. The tornado was approximately 0.4 miles wide. The tornado dissipated over Mayaka River State Park at around 7.15 p.m. The fourth tornado of the day started at around 7.04 p.m. near Northport. This tornado did isolated roof damage to homes in the city of Northport. The tornado then moved into rural locations, doing isolated tree damage. Ten minutes later, a tornado emergency was declared for the city of Arcadia as a strong velocity signature and debris ball was heading for the city. Ten minutes later, the tornado moved into the city, with wind speeds up to 190 miles per hour. This tornado did complete destruction to large low-rise buildings, collapsed walls on homes, and severe contextual damage to cars and trees. The tornado was approximately one mile wide through the city of Arcadia. The tornado then moved into the south side of Sebring with wind speeds up to 125 miles per hour, prompting another tornado emergency and doing exterior wall damage to houses before weakening and missing the east side of Sebring. The fifth tornado of the day started at around 7.45 p.m. to the northeast of Iona, with wind speeds up to 135 miles per hour as it moved to the south of Fort Myers. Trailer parks were demolished and homes experienced severe roof and exterior wall damage. Trees were also toppled and thrown, same with cars. The tornado was approximately half a mile wide. The tornado then moved into Miami's county warning area, 